Hello guys, what's up, Ned here with another BCFC Let's Talk video. This is episode 9 of the Blues Let's Talk video. Really, 9 episodes through that is, honestly, I'm loving this series that we are doing. Hobby to keep it on for a very long time until I eventually get bored of talking about Blues. Because <laughs> it's just usually the same old stuff. However, you know, it's never, it's never boring being a Blues fan. I honestly absolutely love it. But, before we carry on the video, please to make sure like, if any guys aren't subscribed to the channel, please do click that link click that link please do click that red button which says subscribe click it and boom you've officially joined the shreddy army sorry about that intro but we'll continue so boys there's been a lot of action recently since i as soon as i ended the last bcf select talk video let's just say there's been a lot of action action at the time when i ended it birmingham city expressed their interest in dylan phillips we also bidded one million for jonathan lecco from west bromwich albion and we also uh, heard rumours of John Terrell uh, rejoining Birmingham. And now we're hearing rumours of Adam Clayton uh, joined. Uh, Adam Clayton's having talks, sorry, with Birmingham. And, and another bit we're going to talk about is the Leicester City pre-season game. Some of the things we're going to talk about in today's video. So let's kick it off with John Terrell. Oh, so John Terrell of his time for Blues, uh, yesterday I believe it was, it's a one year deal plus a one year extension. Uh, he was, I don't think uh, he was fit enough to play against Leicester today. He, However, he was there and watched the match. If you watched it, you can obviously see him in the background, which I'm very happy with the signing of John Terrell, uh, who rejoined us from Hull. You know, unfortunately, uh, he left a contract. Uh, unfortunately, he left Hull, which I've heard a lot of remarks from a few Hull fans that watch the channel and also a few Hull fans on Twitter saying John Terrell was just as creative as Bowen and Grzycki, but fitness levels just really uh, destroyed him at Birmingham. But I'm really happy to sign because he's going to add squad depth. Hopefully, he can still be the player when we signed him in 2015. So when we signed him in 2015, uh, he lo we loaned him from Arsenal in the age of 20. And he scored like eight goals, four assists. You know, he's actually quite good for a centre attacker midfielder as a creative spark in that midfield. However, he's got comp he's got to uh, compete with the likes of Crowley and Odin Bailey, which I do like that idea because I like uh, I like players fighting for their positions and players that want to fight for the shirt because he gets more out of our better players. See if our best players underperform, like good squad rotation players can come in to replace them. But I think it's a good deal as well. I can't imagine him being a lot in the wages. One year deal, one year option. Very happy with it. So the next bit we're going to talk about is uh, Birmingham City agreeing a deal, £1 million for Jonathan Lecco. So we reported... Uh, it was reported yesterday, well, maybe the day before, that Jonathan Lecco had agreed a £1 million deal with Birmingham alongside with Sheffield Wednesday. However, reports have now come out today saying Jonathan Lecco has, uh, is favouring Birmingham City because it's local, uh, he knows the area, he loves Birmingham. Not the football club, just the city in general. He might love the football club, but, you know, also the city in general. You know, he's probably, like, natural, welcoming to him compared to moving a very far place up in Yorkshire, which I think John Lecco could do well. Could be another Shea Adams type, but I think it's an absolute steal for £1 million. Hearing rumours that it's a loan, but there's no way it's a loan. Birmingham wouldn't do that. We want to get, we don't want loans. We want permanent players that are going to play for Blues. And honestly, if we can get, if we can get Lecco, Terrell, Clayton, Sanchez and Friend all in, you know, we've already got two of them in. Fantastic bit of business. So there's not much more to talk about that. Let's go and talk about Adam Clayton. So it's reported that Adam Clayton is interested in Birmingham City after apparently rumours are holding talks with Birmingham currently as we speak. I think he'll do quite well. He'll have that bit of experience to teach them uh, youngsters which are coming through the ranks. Which I have a lot of big faith in uh, in us. Uh, Excuse me, I have a lot of faith in the youngsters at the moment at Blues. I think they are good youngsters, but they're just not ready yet. But I think Adam Clayton had that big experience, and he probably still got something in the tank left to give. Because he, he was winners for his player of the season when they got promoted, I believe. You know, a very key part of their promotion team. But then again, that was about four or five years ago. And Karanka is just bringing back the entire Middlesbrough retirement home. 
So the final bit we're going to talk about is BCFC v Leicester, which is, uh, by the way, that Adam Clayton news was reported by the uh, Football Insider, which are actually quite uh, reliable uh, sources. Now we're going to talk about Birmingham v Leicester. So, uh, pre-season game, uh, you know, Vorjami came to a 2-0 loss against Leicester, which, at the end of the day, I wouldn't look too much into this lad. It's just a pre-season game. There's going to be a ton of signings for that, a ton of players, you know, and it's actually very exciting to be asked, isn't it, lads? Very exciting, very invigorating. Oh, invigorating, very posh word for me. Uh, yeah, but, you know, Vorjami lost to Leicester. I watched the entire game, and I was... I was impressed in the first half. I thought the team did very well in the first half, including some of the youngsters like Bailey, Lakin. I thought they were all very composed on the ball. I thought they all done very well, to be honest with you. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, however, in the second half, it started, things started to crumble where we went 1 0 down to a Leicester City quick free kick taker, just basically thumped over onto the top of Drewsby Hall. An absolutely emphatic. Finish there from Drewsby Hall, the ex Blackpool uh, central defence midfielder, who just rifled it into the bottom right corner. Uh, in the bottom right corner, which yeah, it was a great finish. And then, and then we 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 had a good chance with Jaden Reed at one point, but it was well blocked. And and then Leicester made it two 0 from a poor back pass from Mark Roberts. Giok tried to get it clear, but you can only fall it straight to Mark O'Brien, where he easily taps it home on his on his uh, ribs. <laughs> because, basically, the goalkeeper kicked to hit his ribs, went in, basically. Uh, and it's very it's kind of sad that he scored against us, really, Mark O'Brien. And I don't... No offence, but I don't know how on earth he's still playing for Leicester. Uh, no offence, <laughs> but, you know... Uh, still playing for Leicester. And then, you know, we make, we saved a penalty, boys. We didn't go 3 0 down. We don't. We usually lose 3 0, but instead we lose 2 0. Have at it. Have at it. We're improving, lads. Oh, Jesus. I'm not looking forward to next season. Oh, we're going down. I'm joking. I'm joking. We'll be fine. We're fine. So, a penalty from Jack Geok from a very harsh penalty, in my opinion. I didn't think there was much in it. There was a bit of contact in the shirt, but if that's a penalty, then I'm bloody Scottish. I ain't Scottish, by the way, okay? Right, uh, yeah, it was a good save from the penalty spot. Great save, actually, in my opinion. I, Zach Geok, an absolutely fantastic penalty save. Uh, Muskawi, I believe that's how you pronounce it, stepped up from the uh, penalty spot. And, yeah, he done very well. Just rifled it into the bottom right corner. No, bottom left, sorry. However, Geok, what they save? Gordon Banks, which, I'm, you know, was good save, actually. Good save. Uh, and yeah, that's it, really. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of news to comment on today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this BCFC Let's Talk video. If you guys have, please make sure to click that like, uh, like button and that subscribe button. Greatly appreciate it. Cheers to all your friends. Let's get on the road to 2,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for the stream, lads. Love every single one of you. And hope you guys will take care. Peace.